Hello friends and welcome to Ghost Giant only on PlayStation VR. I am of course playing on my PlayStation 4 Pro. So the day is here people, the time has come, it's time to check out Ghost Giant. We've been waiting on this one for quite some time. It's been heavily anticipated ever since it was first revealed last year at the E3 conference. Uh, so this is the main menu. Everything looks super cool. It looks handcrafted. It looks like someone went to an arts and crafts store, filled their buggy full of supplies, came home and made this little set. And uh, it's very reminiscent, very reminiscent of Yoshi's Crafted World. Everything looks like it's made out of paper or cardboard. It looks like it's painted. Uh, super cool looking. Uh, something I noticed that's very encouraging is when you stick your head in this little box here, you can see all sorts of little trinkets and there's pictures on the wall, a little chair, a little umbrella, tiny alarm clock, little teddy bear, some musical instruments, a little piano there. All sorts of little things, a little tea kettle. This kind of attention to detail is uncommon. Generally, when you see something like this in a menu, it bodes well for what the game has in store from an aesthetic standpoint. It shows that time was put into this game, most likely. And I'm looking forward to checking it out. little chipmunk guy they want to really impress upon you the uh, interactivity I would assume anyway enough messing about in the menu let's go to scene one by the lake some nice particle effects going on here a common thing in VR games but it never gets old always cool to look at a good way to gauge the 3d depth of a game I oh, don't cry little dude you know what cry you should totally cry I'm going to eat you. Oh, tears, my favorite. Nom, 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 Oh yeah, that's right. Grovel. Beg for your life. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. panic. Totally panic. Poke. No! No! No, 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 no! Please don't hurt me! You think hiding behind the paper bush is gonna help you, son? So I'm in a paper forest, a vast paper forest, nice, nice use of uh, 3D, yeah, I'm digging it, looks good so far. All these little things have a little... Bells on top of them. Is that a dream. handle? It's like a handle. You thought your pillow was a giant marshmallow, but then you start chewing on it and woke up with down in your mouth. It's just like that. And you're going to wake up soon, and everything's going to be okay. Just calm down, Louis. It's not real. It's totally real, dude. I'm totally going to eat you. Of 
cool. Alright, let's check out the turning here. Blink turning, it looks like. Nice little Toledo sign to point out the little dude. Really? Okay. Poke. It's, 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 it's super real. Super real. Leave me alone. This is cool. Come on, Louis. I won't find you here. Come on. Very, uh, very reminiscent of uh, Wayward Sky, or the Wayward Sky demo, I should say. These little scenes like this always throw me back to that because, you know, when you first got the PSVR headset, you dove straight into that demo disc. And uh, when you check out Wayward Sky, just the small scale, tabletop style graphics, experiencing that for the first time was really cool. Alright, what can we do here? Can we pull the nails out of his house? I didn't mean to tear his house Please, down. Help! Please hurry! Help! Why is this happening to me? Because you're a bad person. I know what's gonna happen. Turn, little guy. Oh, I need to give him the thing. Okay. Okay. You're fine. Yeah. You're fine, Louis. Totally fine. And the tree house too. Mm-hmm. happened sure did oh the flag Maurice made it's so worn out wonder what Maurice is doing now totally not talking to a ghost giant oh cool let there be light and there was light and he saw the light and it was good oh you're still here and you're still huge. I gotta go home. And so, thanks. Bye! Cool. See if there's anything else here I can mess with before I follow the guy home like a creepy stalker. What's that? Is that the boundary? That's the boundary. You can only go in front. You cannot go behind. Oh no, there's boundaries everywhere. Can I take the little dude's flag back? I didn't mean to scare him. I'm not really going to eat him. Not at first. I'm sure there's plenty of people in his village for me to eat before I eat him. No, well, that made me drop the flag. Really impressive uh, musical score so far. Scene two on the farm. Okay, let's get to it. This field won't clear itself. <sighs> yeah, I'll help you, little guy. Ah! It's back. You can't run from justice, son. 
Come on out. Is, is it? Yes, it with is. Flowers? Huh. Huh. That's, oh. that's great. But but why? Is, is oh, no! I mean, yeah, yeah! Huh. Oh, it's gigantic! Whoa! Is it helping me? Oh, oh, you, you missed some over there? Really? Show those sunflowers. Who, who's a giant ghost? <laughs> um, you've got really big hands. Mm hmm. That's what she said. Thank you. But, You're welcome. But why are you helping me? Because I'm hungry. <sighs> I'm sorry I panicked. I just. I've never seen anyone like you before. That's what she said. Who are you? Oh dear. Someone's coming. Hurry up and hide. Come on. Quick. Hide. Hey, hide. Somewhere. Uh, ah, no, 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 no. Not there. Find a tree or something. Uh, forget it. I forgot. Use the turning. Don't be scared. It isn't dangerous. No, sir. What I don't like it. What are you talking about? You... You can't see it? See what? Oh, oh my. By my lustrous mane, what on earth is that? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure it doesn't want to eat us. I am joking, Louie. Totally What's wrong. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. I, um. <clears throat> Here you are. This so is nice cool. nice and tender asparagus. Thank you. Mom will be so pleased. Where is she, by the way? Mom? Uh, by the lake. Fishing. Yeah. Tell her we need to talk about that bill later. The bill. Of course. Don't forget. See you later, Louie. Bye, Madame Lefebvre. Huh. She didn't really see you. Oh, uh, I know that thing about my mom wasn't entirely true, but anyhow... My name is Louis. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Ghost you Giant. Name? Name's Weasel, okay. son. You don't have to talk. I actually was a late talker. My mom told me so. I was completely quiet, and then one day, out of the blue, I said, Potato! <laughs> That's kind of weird, huh? Yeah. C could you? Could you come closer, please? Uh, may I? May I touch you? Ha, <laughs> that's what she said too. Whoa. You really are a ghost. A giant ghost. Can I call you Ghost Giant? Sure. So, what happens if you touch me? <laughs> Man, they just keep <laughs> lining them up and I keep knocking them down. Starts to rain. The key. Where is the key? I'm sure I had it in my pocket. Oh no. Maybe I lost it by the lake. Or in the forest. Or in the house. Ugh. I always lose that thing. It feels so stupid. Uh, where's the key? I'll go inside and look for it. Uh perhaps you you can look for it here? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Be on the lookout for brass objects that are important and can be often grabbed or poked. Hiding place, actually. The only problem is how to get it out. Hmm. Hello, shiny thing. I can see you. I love you, you know. Mwah. Ha! I found it! My apologies, but I believe I found it first. Whoa! No, I'm pretty. Yeah. Oh. Fine! Keep it. There are more shiny things in the sea. Uh, thanks. <sighs> now we will sow the seeds, and the rain will fall, and the seeds will sprout, and grow, and grow, and... 
That's how it works, buddy. Oh, well, you've got the key. Maybe you could open the door? So we... Rat! <laughs> Little tiny rats. Well, this game's cute. I'll give it that. No. Oh, I guess the rats got hungry this winter. Don't panic, please. They tend to there do. Must be a solution. Of course. How obvious! You must go to town and buy more sunflower seeds. I know you don't want to, and you have absolutely zero money, but it'll be fine because you're not alone anymore, Louise. You have a giant ghost following you around and helping you, and you have no idea why. But it's a good thing, and everything will be okay. Indeed. That's the spirit. I'm going to tell you a secret. Already. I've been teaching myself to drive. For emergency purposes only. And this is definitely an emergency. Well, no, for sure. Who... But what if someone sees me? I'll take the forest road. There's less traffic there. And I'll bring a disguise. Huh. You can poke Lewis to get a hint about your current task is it going to make me I normally don't like to take hints and these sorts of things but I think that it's going to make me do it I need something to make me look old enough to drive a car not too old to drive one either a moustache if only I had a beard or a moustache <gasps> why not both <laughs> come on beard go faster Oh. Hello, I'm a grown-up man driving my car like I've been doing for the past 30 years of being a grown-up. Totally. That should do the trick. I like the little on, car. cardboard vehicles. Please, come on, car. Or wooden, I guess Please. they're wood. down the hill when it wouldn't start. Trying to push the car down the hill. There you go. Whoa! Uh, careful! Uh, could you help me with the car, please? Trying to, dude. Hey, um, be careful. We paid a lot of money for that. What do you want me to do, dude? Where did it go? It's a disappearing car. Ah, uh, careful! Ah, uh, careful! <laughs> Said they needed help pushing it down the hill so it would start. Hey, um, be careful. We paid a lot of money for that. Can you? Uh, no, that's silly. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Lift the car. Make Dude. it float. Ah, uh, careful. How high do you want me to lift it, dude? Oh. Completely over behind me is where I'm supposed to put it at. Oh, huh, great. Will you wait for me? Mirrors adjusted. Seat belt on. Hands on the wheel. Deep breath. It's missing a tire. This hill is really steep. Come on, car. Where did the tire go? There it is. Oh, hey, ghost giant, follow me! Sure. I, I know how to break. I think. So it looks like what we have here is an interactive story. Very light puzzle solving. But, uh, 
audio visual top notch I love how it looks I like the music Scene 3, The Forest Road. I'm driving! Help! <laughs> Look at me, I'm driving. That's totally what I do when I drive. I guess this is why people avoid the forest road. Got a basketball and a hoop. Um, oh no. I'll help you as soon as I make a basket. <laughs> I called that. It said basketball found. What does that mean? Keep rimming out. It's not fair. I'm gonna put some more air under it. Whoa. What's blocking these boulders? Definitely not as good of throwing mechanics as uh, Vacation Simulator had the other day. This is more typical of most games you have to kind of get used to the physics something's inconsistent it's either the physics or it's me what is that it said things that have brass on it, it's significant. There we go. Trying to move them, little dude. Constantly, don't you, son? Well, what happened to that little board with the uh, handle on it? There it is. Did it go there? Is that why I have that? Well, I guess I should turn. Be mindful of targets in the far distance by and try throwing things at them. Okay. Something tells me that this is going to go here at some point. Because it looks like it goes there. Alright, so uh, let's try throwing some things at the targets in the far distance. That didn't work. Give me the basketball. Nope. Wow. Underwhelmed by the throwing physics. I got it. Well, this kid's gonna die for sure on the road. No, 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 no. Oh, we have a lever. Oh, 
Well, I just said birds and they flew away. I sure did. Basketball, caterpillar, and uh, pinwheel. I found the basketball. I don't know what any of this stuff means, but I know what to keep my eyes out for. Then. What's up, Mr. Bear Dude? I don't know what in the world I just did. Watch me make this shot, dude. Or miss it badly. Play some ball. Hmm. Well, I can't. I was going to pull the drawbridge back so he can't follow my little friend. But apparently, that's not an option here. Oh, I really do wonder what this little board's for. Obviously, it's important. It has a shiny thing on it. It told me to watch out for shiny things. Well, there's more over here. Can't reach it though. Maybe if I go around the other way. It's just out of my tracking. Well, there's the pinwheel. So apparently there's still a uh, caterpillar over here somewhere. Maybe that's what that over there is. But I can't reach. Maybe if I reset my tracking. No, it's not going to help. I mean, it's just outside of my grasp. Oh, wait a minute, that's... I'm not allowed to reach over there. That's what's up. Well, why do they put shiny stuff on it then? They said that anything that's shiny like that I should pay attention to because it's important. So let's try to find this uh, caterpillar then. Anything else I can interact with here? Well, there's a shiny thing. I can't grab it. Oh, there he is. So I found all the little things. What does that mean? Anything at all? Oh well, there's a house on the hill. You told me to throw stuff at things that had targets on it, right? I shouldn't be throwing things at these people's house. No matter. Oh, there's crap. In the far distance, too, there's a tent over there. Look way back in the distance. There's a tent. There's another road back there. This place is really detailed. I wonder if that's playable area over there, if that's just something in uh, something for uh, aesthetic value, just something to look at. All right, let's go chase our little buddy. We've messed around here long enough.
Ghost Artist. Oh, wow. Look at this place. This is really something. Wow. I can't believe we did that. I actually drove the car all the way to town, and you were amazing. Let me pick up this humongous boulder with my giant hand and throw it away. I could never have done it without you. That's right. Hey, Don't forget it. Do you know what we need? A secret handshake. Slap my hand. Come slap on. Slap your hand. Huh? Do it. Come on. Slap my hand. That's it. Now, uh, bump like this. Like this. Whoa. <laughs> That's great. Slap. Bump. That's our secret handshake. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I could tell Maurice about you. Oh well. Never I tell Maurice. Off beard. Mm -hmm. It's stuck. And Maurice it's wouldn't understand. So itchy. Help. Can't get it off. That's what she said. Thanks. It, I still got an itch behind my ear. Really? Reach it. Like a typical kitty cat. How about you? You want some? Ah, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's go see Monsieur Tulip. Wave to Louis to catch his attention and interact with him. Let's do this. Buy tomatoes. I just. Oh, yes, good. Monsieur Tulip's shop is open. <clears throat> Delicious. I hope he's tomatoes. In They're so good for you. Buy them. Please. I want to get rid of them. Why was I born to a family of vegetable traders? Why do I lack the courage to try some other profession? Why? <sighs> Okay, so apparently I'm looking for little items here as well. But it's not going to show me exactly what until uh, we move on. Man, this place. Wow. Really? Wow. This is incredible. It reminds me of that uh, owl you met. I dig that. Yeah, me too. Cool cat. That's what? Ah! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Look, the little artist painting. Yep. Yeah. Just like Al you met, is that what it was called? Al you met? <laughs> wow, this is really impressive. Sincerely. So I take it this is the name of the game here. The, you get put in these little crafted environments. And you're meant to explore with your eyes and your hands and your ears. Oh, how awesome. Found a taco. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the taco, but I have it. Wow, how detailed this place is. What's that? 
Basketball. Oh yeah. Well, this could be easier. This should let me dunk. Boom, son. Unicycle. Somebody ride the unicycle. There's the caterpillar. a doorknob. Is that not a doorknob? Or some kind of a handle that I can put on something to move it? Found a hat for a little guy. People like record albums. So there's the uh, sunflowers. Right? There's a dripping nectar, though. Maneuver houses and other constructs using brass levers and buttons. Oh, I guess I was supposed to. Do that a while ago, huh? Aha! A rose is a rose is a rose. Bonjour! <coughs> Are you okay, Monsieur Jolie? <coughs> yes, yes. Thank you, young man. <coughs> Is that the asparagus lady? I haven't seen you in a while, Louis. Well... Nor your mother. We've been very busy. Actually, we were just about to plant sunflowers. Louis. But then, it turned out the rats had eaten all the seeds. I can't give you any more credit. What? I'm sorry, my dear boy, but your mother has too many unpaid bills. Where is she, by the way? At home. She sprained her ankle, so I hitched a ride with Madame Lefebvre. Ah, Madame Lefebvre. How is she these days? Is her mane still as lustrous? Uh, I guess? Listen, Louis. I'm all out of sunflower seeds. There was a shipment due this morning, but something must have happened to it. I'd go down to the harbor, but I'm simply too busy. I'll go. I'm not sure you can do this, Louis. After all, you're just a little boy. I have a very large friend. Pardon? Uh, nothing. You say I'll take care of it. I promise. Very well. Talk to the harbor master, Monsieur Cousteau. Okay, great. Thanks. Bon courage, young man. So, what's this big handle for? This has to be for something. Surely it's not just hanging out there for nothing. See? There's a lever or something somewhere. It's identical to that one, only bigger. Find a place to stick this thing. What's up with this? It's a motorcycle. Yeah, or a scooter, moped. Nothing too interactable over here, but this is the magic of VR. It looks like you can just walk on down the road. Well, I was gonna 
walk over and try to pull that uh, water spigot on over there, but apparently I have to do it the old-fashioned way by hitting it with a basketball. I like the cable car. It's a nice touch. So what did that do? It did something, right? It made the thing run? No idea what that's supposed to do. It makes it work for a minute. Put some water droplets. What is that? What is that? Obviously there's something going on there. I nailed it that time. Something tells me this place has a lot more going on here than I'm noticing. I have a paintbrush. And a bucket of water. I have no paint. Hmm. I don't know. I'll tell you what I do know. I am impressed. By the town alone. If there wasn't a game going on around me here. Wow, man, look at that. The sense of depth is real. I mean, I feel like I'm in a, a full-size paper city. I mean, the way they've got the uh, background layered and the way the lighting works. Very well done. Oh, dear. It's Madame Lafayette. Yeah, you better hide, buddy. Bonjour, Monsieur Bonbon. Here's your asparagus. Oh, uh, I already put the hat on a little bit. How are your vegetables doing? Hide him, he says. Can I have a look? Um, no, no, no need. Why are you covering the mud? Well, that worked. Look at the state of those tomatoes. They are an affront to tomatoes everywhere. You're not worthy of my asparagus, Monsieur Bonbon. You're a disgrace to the vegetable trade. You're absolutely right, madame. Fact, I detest vegetables. Please remove your Little asparagus kidding. from my sight. I will indeed. Adieu. Adieu, madame. What are you doing here? Where's your mother? She's at the cemetery. You know how she loves tombs. But I told her about the bill, and she's definitely going to pay. Very well, then. See ya. Uh, have a nice day. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to cross the bridge. Are you sure you want to do that? None. Society. Put that idea in shall pass. We're blocking this bridge as a statement. Why? Because there's, there's no nothing wrong true with my tomatoes, is there? in this town. So you won't let me through because you want gross. more yeah. art? Little guy gets it. Really Good for you, seat. little guy. Okay, so we have to get these cool cats some art so they'll let us pass. Hey, excuse me. We need a canvas. Remember, am I in love with you this week? I think you're in love with Jim. <sighs> ha, we found it. Was that there before? I don't think it was. Oh, I'm sick and tired of painting landscapes. 
But no one appreciates true art in this godforsaken town. Instead, they pay me to buy what they can get for free when they look out the window. Are you gonna paint on that? Of course. Uh, why not? Let's make it even green. I left the big city to find interesting <laughs> technique. And What's next? Lag. <laughs> Here I am. Everything's to be figured out. Windmills to make ends meet. I dig that. Uncle! Uncle! There's nothing wrong with my tomatoes, oh, is there? Oh, young again. It's just a bit mushy. Sprouts, love, and art. Oh, oh, bring your past with this town. The concept so of starving artists. Bourgeois. Keep going. Blue, blue. A bold choice. But something is missing. I really should get started on the duck pond. Something is missing. But is it art? I can. Not yet, I think. Hmm. What are we missing? It would be a museum for phones. I dig that. I'm thinking about ducks. To the oil from this. Moped leaking out of the exhaust. My tomatoes can be whatever they want. <laughs> Look at all the squares. Going about the square business. That's what Eating I would guess. But how do we get it? Or a triangle. Or a pentagon. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah. That best poor lady. There's nothing wrong with my tomatoes, is there? They're just a bit mushy. Oh, there we go. Thanks for the hint, buddy. Yeah. Oh, revolting. Something that exudes love. One thing I hate. Yeah. Oh, revolting. If there's one thing I hate more than vegetables, it's town red. Your red. Red symbolizes life. I'm here. You know what? And I'm done with this business. I'm out. I'm free to follow my dreams. <laughs> Dreams, Ooh, here I come. It's beautiful, but not quite done. Is it a poem? Really? Come at me. Huh? <laughs> what are my dreams? Who am I? <laughs> Where's that guy going? The market, apparently. Hey, kitty. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about daffodils. Gold, the burning star up in the sky, sponge cake. Hmm, I think I might be hungry. Are you hungry? Have a taco. Alright, so we have to find another so color. I can't remember. Am I in love with you this week? I think you're in love with Jim. <sighs> I think you're in love with neither of us. Either way, we're all miserable. Certainly. Looks like there's oil leaking out of this exhaust. I'd like to capture the sky, the essence of it. All the shifting nuances, azure, hmm. cerulean, cobalt, indigo, sapphire, ultramarine. Oh, it's like gold. Oh, I know. Up there. Roses are red, violets are blue. Just one more splash of yellow tattoo. Or two. I dig that. Give it more darkness. <laughs> that would be swell. I'm thinking about extraordinary. But it needs a little it's something so extra. It's so bourgeois. They're all phonies. I'm thinking about darkness. The midnight sky on a moonless night. Earth. Oh, be a museum for phonies. I dig that. Oh, so that was it. I just had to poke it with my I finger instead of grabbing it. The essence of it. all the shifting nuances: azure, cerulean, cobalt, indigo, sapphire, ultramarine. Oh, it's like oh, make it dark, ghost giant. You are a oh, true artist. Square. I'd like to capture the sky. What the essence of it. That's what. The Over there. there. Eh, voila. Oh, time to display my shame. Such passion, such <laughs> vision. My Dancing hot dog. Do you paint this, madame? I act 
Actually, I'm not sure how it got there. Mm, don't be modest, madame. You're a great artist. You really think so? It's so subversive what you're doing. Pretending to be a phony landscape painter. But in secret, you're a revolutionary visionary. Why... Why, yes, I am. We salute you, madame. I'm Odile, by the way. Please, call me Nikki. I dig that. Huh. Well, <laughs> that turned out pretty. Pretty. I guess you're an artist now, Ghost Giant. Damn Let's sure. Let's get those sunflower seeds. Indeed. I'm just gonna chill out and wait on me. All right, looks like we found all of the hats and caterpillars and basketballs and pinwheels. Ah. All right, so I think this would be a good spot to cut it. Uh, first impressions, uh, I'm impressed. It's very uh, detailed environments. Um, I'm not. I'm not so sure. Uh, this is a gameplay isn't the reason why you play something like this this game is about story it's about exploration uh, and interactivity with the environment it's very detailed it obviously took these people a long time to create this world and uh, I'm enjoying it so far check out the tower in the distance how cool is that thing so what do you think be sure to let me know in a comment down below. And if you like what you see here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell. When we come back, we are going to follow the little dude down to the harbor, pick up some sunflower seeds, and see what other kind of mischief this little dude's going to get into. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you another day from another game. Thanks. See you later. Bye-bye.